Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our Smart Do. Welcome our class sixes for today's English lesson. I hope you are doing very fine. I'm also very fine and ready for today's learning. Now, as you can see on the board, today we're learning about active and passive voice. Active and passive voice. Now, when you talk about the use of the active and passive voice, this is a way of writing English sentences, starting with different parts of the sentence. Now, earlier on, uh, especially in, the, in your class 4, you may have come across uh, the same. Maybe the only thing is that you did not realize what you were writing. And I'm sure now, once you look at uh, some examples, you will remember how what you are uh, doing. Now, let's start with the active voice. The active voice. Now, what does this uh, mean? Now, it means that the order of the sentence will follow this pattern. It will start with the subject. The order of the sentence uh, will start with the subject followed by the verb in that sentence then finally we shall have the object now i know some of us are wondering now what are these that, that we are writing uh, on the board what is this that the teacher has written as the subject uh, the verb i'm sure you're aware of it and then the object let me explain what they are now in a sentence the subject is the doer of the action. The doer of the action. The person who does the action represented by the verb. The person who does the action represented by the verb. The verb, yes, somebody try and help us with that one. I'm sure that one is quite familiar. Yes, we say the verb is the doing word or the action word good is a doing or action word what about the object what about the object the object is what receives is what receives the action the verb receives the action that is being done so that is a pattern of writing the active voice for example, in a sentence, example in a sentence, we will say, the boy, the boy trimmed the fence. The boy trimmed the fence. That's the most basic sentence of uh, uh, this uh, active voice. So let's identify the subject, the verb, and the object in our sentence. So the subject will be the boy. Good. That's a subject represented by S. Which is a verb or the action that the boy is doing? Yes, this is the verb, trimmed. What received this action of trimmed? Yes, it is a the fence. So the fence becomes the object. So the boy, subject, trimmed, the verb, the fence becomes the object. Let's have another example that will help us in the same. Mother, mother cooked, cooked delicious delicious food mother cooked delicious food now in our sentence 
which is a subset. Very good. Add it from there. Subject is mother. Which will be our verb? Cooked will be our verb. What about uh, our object that receives the cooking? It is uh, the food. So these are objects. Now somebody just asks us, what about the word delicious? We all know that delicious is an adjective that is just describing the, the, uh, the object uh, food. So those sentences are in the active voice. Subject, verb, object. Now, let's now look at the passive. The passive voice. Let's look at the passive voice. Now, what is the passive voice? Now, the passive voice refers now to where our order in the sentences changes. The order in which we put our uh, structure sentences changes. Now, instead of starting with the subject, the verb, then followed by object, we are going to interchange the places of the object and the subject. So now our sentence will start with the object, followed by the verb, and if necessary, which is not a master, you can put the subject. But uh, it is not always necessary uh, to have uh, the subject in your sentence. But in our case, uh, we can have examples the same. Let us use uh, the examples that are on the board, the ones that we used uh, with the active voice. We have the first sentence, uh, the boy swimmed the fence. So, how will now, how will our sentence read uh, when we start with the object? That is the fence. You ask yourself, what happened to the fence? The fence. Uh -huh. What happened to the fence? The fence was trimmed. Very good. The fence was trimmed. The subject by the boy. So I've said it is not a must that we have that part of the uh, subject in our sentence. Once you write, the fence was trimmed, that is enough. The fence was trimmed, that is enough. Let's have another example using uh, this sentence that is on the board. Mother cooked uh, delicious food. Let us start now with the object. Now, remember, uh, one thing I have to mention is that whenever we have a determiner or an adjective, before the object, it must form part of the passive sentence. So we don't leave this one out. So we start by it, by writing delicious, because that the word delicious describes the food. Once we miss writing it, it will, our, um, our sentence will not have the initial meaning in it. So delicious food. What happened to the food? Delicious food was cooked uh -huh. by mother, which I've said is not necessary to write there, uh, the subject in our sentence. Therefore, whenever we have our sentences written like that, uh, now we, have, we say they are either in active or passive voice. Any sentence that you write, uh, can either be in one of the voices that we have learned. Therefore, as we continue practicing this, uh, there are many, many exercises in your books which uh, have sentences even in different uh, tenses. And uh, those tenses, uh, you will change uh, the sentences either into the passive or the active voice depending on the activity you have been required to do. So therefore, practice, work on them, and I'm sure by the end of it all, you will be able to be, uh, have mastered this concept. Have a good time, and I hope we shall meet next time. Bye-bye.